Yo, what is going on guys? It's Manny and today I'll be showing you some tips and tricks versus the Ten Tails Sand Boss using Six Paths Naruto as well as Rinnegan Sasuke. Um, but before I get on into the tips and tricks part of the video, I do want to note that if you don't have Hashirama this Sam, again it is going to be very very difficult for you guys to get into the high leagues. Um, I'm going to quickly explain how the points work. So Six Paths Naruto and Rinnegan Sasuke only get 35% of the damage they do as points, whereas Hashirama gets 90%. Meaning versus say like a level 40 that has 6.3 million health, um, Hashirama will get 5.7 million points, whereas Naruto and Sasuke will only get 2.2 million. So regardless, like it doesn't matter what methods people show you or whatnot, like however efficient you kill the Ten Tails using Naruto and Sasuke, you will not outscore Hashirama just because Bandai have really screwed things up this Sam. And I honestly hope they never do it again. Um, again, aim for top 5k or 10k if you have Naruto or Sasuke. It should be easy for you. I would not recommend wasting your time just trying to grind it out extremely hard because Hashirama is just way too BS. Like, pretty much, you play one game with Hashirama and you get the same points as running on Sasuke and 6 past Naruto would get in three games. Like it's so so unfair and it's never been this unfair ever But with that being said, let's get on into the tips and tricks So I'm gonna start with six pass Naruto as you can see um, I do actually have random cards on him. I would normally just put all attack cards Wouldn't have you know his jutsu all of his jutsu on him because essentially all you need is, again is his ultimate um, As you can see mine is only level one and the lava shuriken jutsu um, I do have a bunch of different tools, but again, these are, um, they're not needed. They do help boost your damage, of course, but again, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. Like, Naruto's is really, really solid in general. You're going to want Lava, uh, Rasen Shuriken, as well as the Ultimate. So, um, a couple of people have been struggling using 6 pass Naruto and actually dying because he has no iframe and they can't iframe the raw. But there is a trick that you can do. But um, okay, so the first trick I'm going to show you is with his ultimate is um, when he's going to lunge forward. I'm actually going to rewind that back a couple seconds for you guys to see. So when he slaps you using um, this arm, he will go for a reach in this arm and he will lower his head. And then you can bang, 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 hit the eye very, very effectively. If you did watch my EMS tips and tricks video, I do recommend you... Um, to go back and watch it because I do explain a bit more thoroughly how his attack combo works and that is basically how you want to use utilize Naruto's ultimate to get the most uh, the maximum hits and the um, hits on the critical spot on the eye. Now as you can see I am standing at the back wall um, away from everything and when he roared I actually avoided the, um, the ceiling effect because I was outside the range of the roar. So what you want to do again with Naruto is you want to walk around, just don't stop moving with Naruto and just throw your Rasen Shuriken at a distance. Um, you're going to be able to see the incoming attacks with, with using either his left or his right arm. Um, he'll have, Again, he'll just um, slap his arms around and you should just move into the opposite direction to avoid the hits. And again, if you are at a distance, you are more likely to see where it's coming and predict where he's going to go and therefore move in the opposite direction and avoid it and you should be you should be good to go um, but yeah keep your distance spam your uh, Rasen Shuriken at a range because he does create a puddle in the ground and you don't, it, it, you, don't, you actually don't have to be right up to his head because like it's there, there there's no difference in damage if you're closer or further away um, this way you will guarantee survive and get the most points as possible because most of you know if you die in Sam um, all your points will be taken away from you which is again another terrible feature that Bandai have in their surprise attack mission game mode but um, I'm about to show you what not to do with um, his ultimate and that is when he's about to roar you go for the ult and look at this I throw my ult Normally this would kill, but as you can see, I hit the belly and only the belly and the damage, as you can see, is um, significantly less. I didn't even kill him, but at least, you know, I've got those lava, rice and shuriken. And as you can see, the, the, the puddle is just doing a flat, like, 
2 to 3k damage. Beautiful, beautiful damage. And it just kills him. So that is that for 6 path Naruto. Um, a quick recap would be, again, just stay at the very, very back wall to avoid the roar. So you don't get hit by the seal effect. And just chuck your jutsus, or well, your Rasen shuriken at a distance. And always be safe. Always be safe. But yeah. Moving on to Rinnegan Sasuke. So Rinnegan Sasuke is actually a lot more easier to use than Naruto because he has an iframe and a very very long iframe at that as well as the fact that um, his ultimate does insane insane amounts of damage and um, he can also boost his own attack with his iframe jutsu, his Chidori which is uh, very very amazing because it's an iframe attack booster and it is also an impact nature so it does more damage to the boss but it's not going to do too much damage so again put your best attack cards honestly I've thrown just random stuff on my <laughs> really guys ask again I couldn't be bothered switching cards with all my ninjas for the purpose of this video but um, again always attack cards uh, impact kunai if you do have them if you don't just whatever attack uh, ninja tools you have and um, I recommend equipping just most of the jutsu apart from the almighty pull you don't even have to have the amaterasu on him because damage over time isn't doing too much because your ultimate is just does so much so much damage but you're soon going to see that uh basically what you do is you just use your um, chidori first before you ult because you want that um, attack buff and then you drop the meteor and i didn't create any of them so they only did a million but uh <laughs> i say only but a million heaps but um yeah so it did a million each and with Sasuke's ultimate there's no like honestly you can't really hit the belly with Sasuke's ultimate because it comes from a um, 45 degree angle downwards so it's actually very very fortunate that Sasuke's ult works like that like the only way you'll screw that up is if he goes for the raw again and you ult then you only hit the belly but other than that just aim for the middle of the head and you should be able to hit Sasuke's ultimate um, to time the iframe correctly so when, he's about, when he opens his mouth, that's when you press the iframe. And as you can see, I did iframe the roar and I didn't get sealed. Which is very, very good. Um, again, the damage over time due to... I have it equipped, but honestly, I would advise you guys to just equip like an ultimate or a red... Like just any red stat card on instead because um, the damage over time is kind of redundant. As you still can see, because my ultimate will pretty much just kill him. Right? <laughs> like, I'm not going to kill him with my damage over time jutsu. I'm going to kill him with my ultimate. So the dot is actually not needed. Although the Chidori, however, it is definitely needed. Because it is the iframe that iframes the raw. And prevents you from being sealed away. As well as it boosting your attack. Which boosts your damage for your ultimate. So, again. When he opens his mouth, you can go for the Chidori. Iframe the seal. And... I'm about to get my ultimate back. He's about to seal me again. Sasuke iframes. And this is why I think Sasuke is way more easy to use this Sam than Naruto. But, I mean, both of them do not compare to Hashirama. But it is what it is. Um, as you can see, Shebang, Alt, and level 3 crits at 1.6 mil. For, uh, one, yeah, 1 1.6 mil, I think it was. For me, um, if you have a high level ultimate, Sasuke should be doing way woods, upwards of like maybe 2 mil. 2 to 3 mil. Which is pretty, pretty insane. Um, yeah, and those are the tips and tricks for Rinnegan Sasuke. Now, before I end off the video, I do want to show you guys why Hashirama is honestly just insanely, insanely broken. Um, the footage I am using is during the first day when I did just record some footage. I am recording this video a couple days afterwards. But currently, I am in top 100. You might be thinking, what a nerd. And <laughs> I, I guess you'll be right. But um, yeah, I haven't grinded too much compared to the other Sams. Because this is Hashirama Ultimate making it so, so easy. Like, having a level 7 as well, um, it's just ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous, as you'll soon see. Uh, again, all my attack cards on him. I just have the gates as well as the punches on him. Honestly, you should not have any of the jutsus on him. You should just have attack cards, but I was just a bit, you know, lazy when I was recording this footage. So I decided just to keep a seal jutsu on him, but you don't need it. 
You just want all attack cards and the ultimate. So, why is Hashirama so BS? Well, first of all, his ultimate is very, very easy to hit. It's just like um, Rinnegan Sasuke's ult. It goes on a 45 degree angle forwards, so you're definitely going to be able to hit the weak spot very, very easily. Um, as you can see, bang. I did, what, 2.3 million damage? Which is roughly the same amount of damage, a bit, a little bit less than my uh, Rinnegan Sasuke, although it is an only a... Um, a, a a three uh, a level at level three <laughs> English sorry my bad but um yeah so my Hashirama ultimate is level seven so it is way higher than my Rinnegan Sasuke's ultimate however it doesn't change the fact that Hashirama's ultimate cooldown is just way shorter it's way way shorter it's only like 48 seconds yeah it's only 48 seconds and my Rinnegan Sasuke's ultimate is like a hundred something seconds so Hashirama's ultimate has a low low cooldown and it is easy to hit and you get billions and billions of points because again his multiplier is 90%. So here you're going to see I smoke the um, I smoke the ten tails and I'm going to just compare the points. Keep in mind this is only level 36. Um, if you scroll back, if you wind back my video, you would see my Sasuke and whatnot. They only got 1.6 mil. Look, I got 4 million. I got 4 million. I literally got more than double the amount of points in one run and it took me less time as well to kill the boss. So you can imagine how this adds up. Like you guys could play 100 games with Naruto and Sasuke and get um what 200 mil yeah roughly around 200 mil points whereas if I play 100 games I'm going to roughly get around 500 mil. So that is the that is basically the difference, and I mean, Hashirama. That Bandai really did the dirty. Bandai honestly did the absolute absolute dirty for us. Hopefully they don't do this again because it's really really bad. But um, yeah, that is it for the tips and tricks video. Um, now I will be uploading an Naruto attack mission video because his new four star has made him absolutely broken. Not sure. I mean, I want to say he's double S tier, but I feel like there's just something off about him. There is just something a bit off about him, which I will be explaining in my um, in my Naruto attack mission video. Um, I will also might be doing I might be doing a Hashirama one. I, I've been trying to solo with Hashirama, but ugh, it's it's the tornado traps have been screwing me over with Hashirama. So I might just do a team um, team solo attack mission with Hashirama instead. But uh, be on the lookout for that. Um, also, we'll be up updating the defense tier list with the six pass units and whatnot. I did already update it on the Reddit, so you can be sh just check the Reddit if you want to see where I've tiered Hashirama for everything. But uh, yeah, again, thank you guys for watching. I will catch you in the next video. Peace.